Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard Moglin, and welcome back to the Weekly Watches video sponsored by MarketSmith. As always, we'll run through my focus list for this upcoming trading week and go through the technical setup that I'm watching for each of these stocks. And let me know down below your thoughts on this list. Let me know your favorite setups and any stocks I missed that I should be watching going into next week. And if you do enjoy my analysis, please go ahead and take the time right now to leave me a like down below. It really helps me out and my channel. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one every single week. Uh, dive right in, let's start with VTU Peabody Energy Corp. Um, overall, definitely short-term extended, but showing a lot of power here and nice volume to the upside, breaking out of this overall pattern. And I'd love to see a few tight days, let that moving average catch up to price, and then have another pivot form and break out on strong volume, kind of reconfirm this initial move. So that is what I'm watching with BTU. And overall, not much to speak up in terms of fundamentals. Obviously, this is in a leading group, and you do have very strong quarterly numbers the most recent quarter. Uh, moving on, we've got CNC, which is forming a VCP pattern here, right near all-time highs. Overall, decent earnings the most recent quarter. And overall, I'd love to see some tightness here before an attempted breakout through that 85 level and into all-time highs. Really strong relative strength on this name. Moving on, we've got CRDO, very strong action since its IPO. And overall, I'd love to see some tightness here and then an attempted breakout. And this is a lower dollar volume name, so keep that in mind. Um, and I'd love to see a really nice move, a strong closing range as well. Um, if you do get out of profit very quickly, keep that in mind. Um, move that stop to break even quickly because this can reverse as it did on this day and this day right here. So that is CRDO. And maybe kind of go sideways for a few weeks and builds out an IPO base. It just remains to be seen, but definitely a stock to have on your radar given this power and strong volume uh, from its IPO. Moving on, we've got EXTN. And overall, this is in a leading group here, oil and gas machinery. And it had a really strong push on very high volume, 60 million shares traded here. And then that resulted in a very strong move holding that 21 EMA. And now we've got a retest on a decently low volume of this prior pivot here. This is a pretty low dollar value um, stock, so keep that in mind. And going over to a weekly, you can see this is nowhere near all time highs, but you do have this huge volume surge here, which could be the start of a character change and a new potential uptrend. So uh, definitely a stock to have on your radar if you like this type of play. Uh, moving on, we've got Lockheed Martin and this one, RTX as well as uh, Lidos as well, uh, look pretty similar. You've got a huge push on volume. Now kind of it's been extended and pretty volatile, so I'd love to see some tight action, another pivot to form right below 450, and then a breakout on large volume. But I really like the overall cup shape here. If we go over to a weekly chart, uh, you can see that this was a very significant breakout um, right at 400, and now it's kind of facing this other point of resistance. Uh, going back over to a daily chart, you can see earnings growth, sales growth, not much to speak of here, but it is in a leading group as of this moment, and you do have some decent fund sponsorship. Uh, moving on, we've got LNTH, super powerful gap up here on earnings, great volume coming in. You did have a downside reversal on Friday, but it's holding that range. So I definitely wanna see this hold 50 here, form out more of that range, and then have another breakout attempt, but really strong earnings here and um, also fund sponsorship is also increasing. Uh, next up, we've got NEM, which is a mining gold play here. Um, overall, definitely short-term extended. So once again, I wanna see some consolidation, tightness here above 75, then a reattempt on the breakout. Um, overall, not much to say in terms of earnings growth, the most recent two quarters, but this is kind of trading with gold, which is in a strong uptrend, and this is a leading group as of this moment. Moving on, we've got NUE and Steel and Steel Producers is another leading group as of this moment. A really strong action, great earnings and sales the most recent two quarters, a nice growth in fund sponsorship, and one high quality fund in there as well. I'd love to see some sideways action before breakout through this pivot and into all time highs. I really like this longer term base after a really strong uptrend. Uh, next up, we've got NVCT, and this kind of reminds me of TSP. Um, back in its IPO base, but TSP was a little bit tighter and we've got a little bit of a drift up here. I'd love to see kind of uh, maybe one more shakeout day, one more contraction, um, but you do have a pivot as of this moment, a really strong hammer candle. So we could see some fall through breaking out um, early next week, uh, but this is completely a play on the overall chart. I know nothing really about uh, the fundamentals and this is a biotech, so there is some added risk there. So position size accordingly and trade accordingly as well. And you do have these big kind of wicks here. So if you do get at a profit, uh, definitely lock that down and move your stop to break even and uh, make sure you don't let a trade go red once you have a good profit. Uh, moving on, we've got Pan W and we did have a failure of that pivot here, 
but it held that 50 SMA as well as this prior pivot area. And now we're forming some tightness and we've got another pivot right here. And I really like how this acted late last week where we just kind of had some tight red days on pretty low volume when the overall market was really showing some distribution. So definitely showing some relative strength as of recently. And you've got uh, some growth here, but mostly this is a play on the overall chart pattern and really strong prior uptrend. And this is a stage two base, nice increase in fund ownership and one high quality fund in there as well. Moving on, we've got PCRX, another biotech name here, moving out of this large cup and handle. Nice push on volume. Now it's going tight once again, above 70. So I want to see a push through these highs here on volume and the start of another kind of reconfirmation part of this uptrend. So that is PCRX. And moving on, we've got SEDG. The kind of solar names have been showing some uh, strength recently, and SEDG is one of the kind of liquid leaders here, along with EMPH. Um, some negative action late last week, but holding up relatively well. And you have a really strong push on volume. I love how the volume on the up days is higher than these down volume um, days right here. And this overall is within a stage one cup. Let's go over to a weekly chart. Uh, you can see a nice long term base, even going back all the way to. Uh, basically early 2021 and we do have an rs new high before price um, as of this moment uh, moving on we've got sg a recent ipo uh, definitely short-term extended so i definitely want to see some consolidation and ideally even kind of a shakeout and hammer candle here and then a re-breakout on high volume and in this price tightness i'd love to see some kind of low volume below average that would be optimal and then a breakout through this 36 33 pivots and a start of the move up towards uh, that 50 level. So that is SG, definitely an IPO to have on your radar, really nice fund ownership already, and a whole bunch of high quality funds. This definitely catches my eye and tells me to take a look at the stock and look for a potential setup. Uh, so that is Sweet Green. Moving on, we've got the last stock, uh, Venom here, another kind of leading group play here on oil and gas, and overall nice trend above the 21 EMA and 50 SMA, and a little bit choppy here, but you've got a pivot right near 30, and I love to see maybe a tight day, maybe an inside day, then a breakout through that and into all-time highs. So for all that's pretty much it for this week's focus list. Let me know your favorite setup of this list down below in the comments. And as always, let me know any stocks that I should take a look at and uh, watch for next week. And also go ahead and leave a like down below if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos just like this one every single week. And with that said, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.